Understanding the phrase, go to ground. Hello everyone, today we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, go to ground. This is a term you might encounter in books, movies, or even in daily conversation. Understanding such phrases can really enrich your English skills and help you sound like a native speaker. So, let's dive in. The phrase, go to ground, has a literal origin from the animal kingdom. Wild animals, such as foxes, are known to retreat into their burrows when threatened or pursued. This is a natural survival tactic. Over time, this behavior has lent itself to the English language as a metaphor for similar human actions. When someone says they're going to go to ground, they mean they intend to hide or become inconspicuous. It's often used when a person wants to avoid attention or escape from a difficult situation. This can be either in a physical sense, like actually hiding somewhere, or in a more figurative sense, such as staying out of the public eye. Let's look at how to use go to ground in everyday sentences. After the scandal was exposed, the politician went to ground, avoiding any media contact. The celebrity has gone to ground since the news broke about their latest movie flop. If the situation gets too stressful, I just go to ground and focus on myself for a while. Understanding the context is key to using this phrase correctly. Interestingly, go to ground can have slight variations. Sometimes, you might hear someone say, go to earth, which carries the same meaning. However, go to ground is the more commonly used expression. In culture, go to ground can be used quite dramatically. For instance, in spy novels or films, characters might go to ground to evade capture. It adds an element of suspense and survival instinct that can be quite thrilling for the audience. And that's a wrap on go to ground. Hopefully, this explanation helps you understand and use the phrase confidently in your English conversations. Remember, learning such phrases can make your English more vivid and expressive. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English.